Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play uh, Breath of Fire 2. Um, you're going to notice that I'm not where I was the last time we were together. And there's... Got a couple cool treasures. Um, got some hero butt for cat, who has, of course, a sweet cat butt. I uh, talked about let's see, what kind of stuff that I was, I was just like kind of randomly mumbling a bunch of junk while I played because it wasn't a very interesting gameplay video. Uh, what did I talk about? I mentioned the fact that um, I'm aware that my uh, let's plays between Rumble Roses and Breath of Fire, or no, sorry, Bullet Witch, have been pretty boobity recently. So I was going to. Uh, Try to find something that wasn't like you know blatantly sexual to play, but this game does, of course, feature you know angel chick who's supposed to be hot by 16-bit standards, and of course cat chick, which is one of those things. Or you know if you're a furry, I'm not. Uh, and of course now we have a weird little Smurf chick. What's going on with this dungeon? Let's see, there was other stuff. There was a guy that you talk to, and he gives you 100. For, if you give him 100 gold, he takes you to the entrance. And you can't get anywhere in the dungeon without talking to him. Talk to him again, gets you some treasures. We checked that out, it's pretty sweet. Fought a bunch of enemies. Like these guys are pretty annoying because the um, these guys have super high defense. So physical attack physical attacks only do like one damage, maybe two if you're lucky. But they've only got like four hit points. But uh, what's interesting about this is that the avatar is no more powerful against them than Nina or his, uh, you know, any of his uh, fine, fine female friends here. The pea eaters are pretty wimpy and they tend to run away. I'm not sure what the point is. Maybe they give you a really high experience drop and I haven't noticed. Those guys just headbutt you a lot. That pisses me off. They also have magic attacks they use. Magic is completely worthless against them from what I've seen. So I just hate them a lot. And now we killed them. So good. They deserve death. Do, do, do. But yeah, it's, um, this whole dungeon, you haven't missed... M well, these are the guys who use magic, but they're really weak and easy to kill. You just want to try to kill them before they get off the magic. And the thing about this place is that you can't see the walls when you're close to them because you're nearsighted for whatever reason. Like, some old dude tells you he's nearsighted at the beginning of the cave and apparently he infects you with nearsighted disease. I don't know. But, oh... You know, in the last video, I got to the boss, talked through some dialogue, and then loaded state because I had, hadn't gotten all the treasures. But now I can just like totally act like I've never seen that before and be surprised and stunned when the plot unfolds, as it will in a moment. There's also an old guy that we talked to on like the second floor of this dungeon who's like, Allow me, "Do you want me to escort you?" And if you say yes, you teleport up a few, few stories in the dungeon. And he says, "Oh my goodness, what is this place? Why have you brought me here?" Begging the question, well, why is one section of this weird biological maze better than the other? I can't remember anything, I can't remember anything. None of these guys seem to do anything, although, hold on one second. Okay, folks, I was just interested if anything comes from talking to these guys, and the answer is, you can talk to them for, like, information, but only after you beat the boss. They don't do anything useful now, and they don't really do anything useful after you beat the boss. It's just, you know, the dialogue changes, whatever. I can't remember anything, or I've become Rembrandt for some reason. I suppose this is the wrong place to apologize for it, but I hope I don't sound homophobic when Boba the Vulture and I just make fun of Rembrandt constantly. I'm mostly making fun of the fact that he's just kind of an effete guy with a big puffy afro who <laughs> joins a gang of street toughs, but... If you've ever been watching that Let's Play and have been offended by it, you're probably not watching this one, so why am I apologizing here? But, you know, whatever. I am destroying the soul man's memory. Why, you ask? Well, I'm kind of a dick. That's why. You know, something that is of an inconvenience to my god. Ooh, an inconvenient truth for, you know, your god. You must be talking about, like, evolution or, um, possibly, uh, the fact that the earth revolves around the sun. Anything inconvenient, I will destroy. Everything you touch, you destroy. I'll let you in on a secret, after. I am the one who destroyed everyone's memory of what you did in Gate. Oh, you dick! Dude, so he's the reason that, like, the old woman who you saw taking crap was like, Get out of my bathroom! Then doesn't remember you later. Totally killing this guy. Last time I just destroyed the memory, but this time I will destroy you! We gotta kill this dude. 
we are so killing you. You are dying big time. I don't like you because you stole everyone's memories, and that sucks. Do, 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 do. Hey, she's almost got enough max MP to use one of her spells now, Cat. That's pretty, pretty awesome. I'm trying to find a place to set my speakers. Here. Um, I guess just attack. Defense up. X. Always a good idea to use. And, um... Try using defense down on this thing. See what happens. Spell sometimes works against bosses, it seems. Sweet breath. Oh, great. Puts everyone to sleep. There, you forget your magic. What the fudge? Is there something that makes you immune to being put to sleep? I also like the fact that the Smurf Girl was apparently not given a sleeping animation. Anyway, he didn't get to use his thunder attack yet, so let's... Oh, he can't remember. Great. Alright, let's just fire. It's a plan. I should have used that anyway. This is getting irritating. The avatar's not really a good one to wake people up, too, because if I try to make him attack them so they'll wake up, it's going to do a hell of a lot of damage. Yeah, it's just attack, whatever. Maybe I'm so over-leveled that even with half my party asleep, I'm still going to win. Cat got poisoned, that's no good. Stop hitting Avatar. He's the only one that it doesn't benefit me in some way for him to get hit. Ugh. I guess I'll use an antidote on Cat. I should have healed the Avatar, though. Yeah, this could get bad. This could go bad really quickly. He's got to use an herb on himself. It only restores 40 hit points. That was basically a waste of a freaking turn. Yeah boss has to love it if I'm going to go healing myself 40 hit points and losing 50 some hit points every turn. That's kind of stupid. Alright. Yeah, I am sounding really angry in this Let's, let's Play. And I mentioned um, I've been listening to um, a Let's Play of a guy this, one, this is kind of weird. This uh, guy sent me a friend request but has not subscribed or commented on any of my videos. So at this point, I don't think they've actually ever watched any of my videos, but they still sent me a send requ friend request. And I was like, you know, I didn't I didn't answer yet, but I did just... There, forget your magic. I did decide to check out his videos, and they're pretty good. And he's veteran some series of numbers. And uh, he's doing a Let's Play of something called Final Fantasy for the After Years, which is like Final Fantasy 2 US, and they made some kind of sequel that's only available on... Uh, downloadable on like the Wii, which sucks, it means I can can never play it. But um let's use a fire rock, I guess, why not? Come on, wake up somebody else. But um Yeah, and uh, I'm sure that he's not angry, but like I don't know, this guy's delivery when he talks, he just sounds pissed off all the time. It's kind of interesting. Um and I'm really enjoying his let's play, so I don't wanna like sound like I'm dissing the guy, but <coughs> it's just interesting to me that he, he just kind of sounds pissed off, particularly when a battle doesn't go well. This is a really annoying boss fight right now. I'm, there's probably, like, strategies. There could be something better I could be doing than just making the avatar attack. Cure Al. That's probably what I want to use. I don't know if I can buy those or not. The mystery metal. Oh, what the heck? Save state and use Cure Al on Nina and see what happens. Because Nina can just wake everybody else up by just hitting them and doing like zero damage. I just don't want to find out that. Okay, I didn't want to find out that sleep is not considered a status ailment. Oh, and now it's going to wake up uh, Spar for me. That's nice. See, Nina does like... 
I've been wanting to do that for so long. It's a shame that it was physical text so we could didn't hurt her. Look, I'm too stupid to be angry. All right. Now, let's get on with it here. Defense up X. Oh, I can't remember. I can't remember shit. I think it's been taking away all of my uh, magic. I hate this thing a lot. I'm going to try defense down on it, but it's probably going to put us all to sleep again now that it's... It hasn't been using that attack, I figure, because so many of us were asleep. Come on, defense go down. I would love for this to work right now. They were. Well, I'm disappointed, but not surprised. Ah, oh, who cares? I won. Probably a waste of time to even uh, use that cure all to wake up Nina. That's so silly. A room number of Grr, I can't fight his powers or his hot chicks. I have already destroyed most of this old man's memory. It's too bad. Grr. <laughs> it is too bad you destroyed his memory. Seems like uh, Tree would have lots of great memories of you know standing around. You know, collecting sunlight or whatever. Wah, 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 wah. I've been collecting lots of sunlight. Do, 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 do. Oh, you don't have like anti um, poison magic? What the frick kind of white mage are you? You suck. Alright. And we know that she didn't have anything that resembles white magics. So let's just wander around being poisoned because all we need to do is talk to these people. And that's just because I'm curious. There's no. You don't really have to do that. How quickly are they dying from this? Yeah, it doesn't even kill them very quickly. So whatever, you guys can slowly die for a while. The demon got to me, so I can't remember too well. Long ago, a dragon warrior led seven brave men to fight. The Zodiac Brave Story. A great evil da 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 I can't remember. Yeah, well. So sad. It does make an awesome noise when you run, though. Waka 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 What else did I talk about in the last video? I talked about a little bit about what I'm thinking about Let's Playing next. I figure only hardcore fans are watching this Let's Play. You know, I don't want to let the cat out of the bag to anybody who's only watching the popular Let's Plays, like, you know, The Warriors, which gets up upwards of 10 views a video. If, sorry. Um, it's not clear in my mind, but there is a man that used the powers of the demon to possess people to do horrible things. And that man's name, his name was, I can't remember, I think it was Avatar. Shut up, Nina. Our god, that is what the demon said. A devil, huh? It sounds bad. A devil that uses a demon like that. Maybe, um, I can't remember. Well, I mean, the last game had an evil goddess. Is that maybe what we're thinking is going on here? Anyway. Cat's in worse shape than the poison people. Alright, let's get in here and get a... Oh, is our poison cured by entering town, or we just don't take damage in town? Whatever, it's rest. Good night's sleep is a cure for poison, right? Yeah, I'm not gonna die overnight from being poisoned and just going to bed. I'm totally gonna get better. If you go north, you can go back to the town where you were much younger. Why would I want to do that? Where am I supposed to go now? Uh, enter the shop, talk to the child. I'm, I got the fact open just from something else. Okay. <laughs> do you want to hear the legend? Yes, when tragedy met the world. Yeah, okay. I'm supposed to go to young people town. And from there, I can apparently get the heck out of here. So at this point, I'm so freaking close to finishing this place, I might just, I just want to finish it before the video ends. Would you like to go outside the mine? Yeah, baby. Alright, I successfully completed the quest of that tree's memory. Woohoo! Thank you for defeating the demon. I am Treebeard, as somebody pointed out. I totally thought his name sounded like Gandalf, but um, that game, movie, book, uh, that whole franchise has its own talking trees. But anyway, folks, before we get down to Entmoot, we have to end this video. So uh, thank you very much for watching. This was Serious JG, 
Uh, tune in next time when we'll talk to a tree some more. Hooray!